subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Cyclone Lucas is getting closer to New Caledonia today and is currently located around 16.6 degrees south, 163.6 degrees east as of 10 p.m. UTC time this February the 1st. Currently, Cyclone Lucas by our estimates has winds of 75 miles per hour, a pressure of 981 millibars, moving southeast at 23 miles per hour, and has a CDPS stage rating of 3. Here's a breakdown of that stage 3 rating. Wind speed, low to moderate, storm size is moderate, rainfall potential is major, and the overall threat to land is moderate at this time. This is for New Caledonia Wednesday. Stage 3 means that significant uh, damage is possible where the storm makes landfall. And here's the current wind fields of Cyclone Lucas. 145 nautical miles for the entire northern quadrant of the system, 90 nautical miles to the southeast quadrant, and 70 nautical miles to the southwest quadrant. Here's the current distances in miles. 353 miles from Vila, 479 miles from Nuama, 480 miles from Miami, 497 miles from Goro, and 500 miles from Aurora. A tropical storm warning is in effect for Vila, and a tropical storm watch is in effect for the rest of the areas listed. The warning uh, means that gales or stronger winds are expected within 24 hours. The tropical storm watch means that gales or stronger winds are expected or possible in the next 24 to 48 hours. Here's the current intensity estimates. Again, Force 13, we are sitting at 75 miles per hour. AMSU is at 80. JGWC, SATCON, and RAM at 70 miles per hour. And ADT is sitting down at 65 miles per hour. And here's our for current forecast cone on Cyclone Lucas. Again, we're running with 75 miles per hour and a pressure of 981 millibars. Uh, we expect gradual weakening all the way up to landfall in New Caledonia. And you can see eventually it does track back towards Australia, so we cannot roll out some impacts to Eastern Australia. And here's our forecast cone using the Australian scale, uh, forecasting a category one on the AU scale to make landfall in New Caledonia. And here's the current sea surface temperatures for Lucas. You can see very warm as of right now. The only really limiting factor for this system is the wind shear as it is skyrocketing at this time. But you can see very warm all the way up to landfall in New Caledonia. So we don't expect this system to weaken down to a tropical depression. We expect this to stay a tropical storm. Here's the HWRF wind swath. You can see mostly tropical storm force winds there. Maybe some hurricane force uh, while it approaches New Caledonia. Uh, and here's the rain swath, again, expecting uh, significant rainfall with this system. Uh, here's the multi-model diagnostic comparison. As you see, models are actually wanting uh, this to strengthen a little bit more uh, before it starts weakening. And there's wind shear right there. You can see very high above 30 knots and expect it to stay above 30 knots all the way up to landfall. Sea surface temperatures, as I stated, will be dropping down. Mid-level relative humidity will be also be dropping down, and you can see the best track there as well. And here's a current satellite imagery of Tropical Cyclone Lucas. You can see wind shear is certainly getting to this storm. As Again, there's over 30 knot wind shear that this storm is dealing with. We expect a 40 mile per hour landfall in New Caledonia uh, on Wednesday. Here's current infrared. You can see the thunderstorms are actually starting to die down on that. That's a very good sign. We hope that the thunderstorms start dying off uh, so this storm remains weaker towards landfall. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned to Force 13 for more updates not only on Lucas but other tropical threats.